Hey guys, how's it going? Edit here again. And in today's video, we are going to be having a look at another DMG Game Boy Pocket. I don't know why, but you guys just absolutely love these videos. Um, it's not something that, I mean, I, I love ordering these things and fixing them up anyway. Um, so I really don't mind making more videos on them. I just don't want to like oversaturate making videos on this. But anyway, without any further ado, let's have a go at repairing it. Here's the listing for it. I ordered it quite a while ago. Um, as you can see here, it's uh, just listed as for junk, uh, GV for junk for parts or whatever, $16.50 and I think that's $7 postage, which means it came to almost 18 pounds um, in the UK, which for me is uh, really not too bad for one of these things. Um, as you can see, it's very, very yellow, but we're hopefully gonna have a go at fixing that in today's video. Um, let's just have a look on the description and see if there's any more indication. Color, gray, console, uh, it does not work. Um, oh, it is console only, it does not work. Please think it as junk. To start with, I'm just gonna take the whole thing apart using the wow stick, which is a uh, really cool little electronic screwdriver. If you guys wanna check out any of this cool stuff, you can go ahead and have a look on my website, uh, theretrofuture.co.uk. Wow, that sounds fancy. Right, let's go ahead and take it apart. I kind of got slightly ahead of myself and actually forgot to test this thing. So uh, I got two AAA batteries, put them in here. Let's uh, give it a little wiggle. And no, it doesn't work. So uh, sometimes companies get really, really lazy with these things and they don't bother um, flicking the power switch a couple of times because um, a lot of the times these things are just really, really old and don't work. What I'm also gonna do is actually try the um, the power adapter and then we'll see if that works as well. So I'm just gonna take the screen out. Obviously I'm hoping this thing's gonna work but I do so many of these videos and they all seem to have the same problems It's just the power switch or it literally just needs a clean. So maybe we might actually have one that has a you know, DC, DC unit or whatever that needs repairing. Let's just wiggle the power switch a bit. Oh! We've got something there. That was odd. I'm also, oh, there we go. Hey, hello. Good morning. Oh no, is that a deadline? No, it doesn't appear to be. Hey, hey. Okay, so it is just the power switch. As you can see, as I move that again over there, it um, goes off. So it's just the power switch. So I'm gonna very, very quickly drop some isopropyl alcohol in there, give it a wiggle around, and then we'll go on to um, retro brighting the case and making this thing look beautiful again. What I'm gonna do now is just take this to the sink, take a, a uh, toothbrush, exactly like this one, and scrub it down with just some normal hot soapy water. Um, get a lot of the crud off. In order to actually retro bright this, it needs to be spotless. The retro brighting solution I'm gonna be using is this. It's a 40 volume uh, cream peroxide, and I'm gonna just be using that in a nail remover thing. Um, hopefully I've got enough, I haven't got a lot in here, um, but if I don't, I can get some more tomorrow and finish this video off tomorrow. Um, but yeah, let's give it a go. I also um, hair dried off the screen um, as opposed to using hot water for no real reason. But right, let's take this to the sink. Cue the montage.
All right, and this is where we are right now. You can see it looks uh, very, very white, which is uh, really, really nice to see. It did turn out quite well. Um, unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to really pick it up. There's a little tiny bit of streaking um, in this bottom corner. Also, there's some chips and whatnot, but um, everything cleaned up really, really nicely. You remember there was a load of grime and dirt from scratches um, embedded really thickly into kind of uh, surface scratches, but now that's all cleaned up. It looks great, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together, and then we'll uh, take a look at the final result. I'm not gonna do a whole cut scene again for that. Um, I'll just pop it back together. Right, and that is gonna conclude this video. I think it's turned out looking absolutely fantastic. Really, really happy with the final product. Just need to uh, glue the screen down, which I'll do um, off camera. But yeah, we've got the Game Boy working absolutely fine now. There's no dead lines on the screen, although there are some that kind of look like they're slightly fading, but I might just need to clean the ribbon cable. Uh, the speaker works as well. You'll be able to hear it when it turns on. So I'm really, really happy overall with how this has turned out. I'm gonna absolutely test this thing thoroughly to make sure everything works great. And then it's gonna be available to buy on my website uh, through eBay. Um, it'll be an auction at 99p. And we're gonna just try that out and see if it works. So you can check out my website in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.